Hello, so today I want to demonstrate uh, using the Pascal language on the venerable TS-1000 computer which is the American clone of the uh, venerable ZX81 uh, British computer. The only difference between the two being that the TS-1000 has a base of 2K of RAM compared to 1K on the ZX81. And um, this is the classic configuration as it would have been back in the day. You have the computer itself, you have a 16 kilobyte uh, RAM pack, which was pretty much essential for any uh, serious computing. Uh, you have a tape recorder for uh, loading and saving programs, and a black and white television. If uh, you were uh, well off, you could also uh, get a thermal printer for it. Um, this costs almost as much as the computer itself, but um, for serious programming, a, being able to print out a listing is probably essential. So, uh, Pascal is actually was a pleasant surprise uh, for the TS-1000, um, and uh, usually it's found on uh, much bigger and more endowed computers. Um, but yet uh, it was made available for the TS-1000. Uh, it's called Partial Pascal by Semper Software. It's not a complete implementation of the standard Pascal language. It is missing some features including uh, records and link lists and pointers. But uh, otherwise uh, seems uh, pretty decent as far as uh, language elements are concerned and you should be able to create all sorts of uh, interesting programs with it. And it also allows for the use of graphics and machine language subroutines. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I was uh, really surprised to have this available for this computer. And I should mention that honestly, this computer does not get enough credit. Um, yes, it's small. Yes, it's limited in its base configuration. But with minimal expansion, as you can see here, you can actually achieve quite a bit with it and it's really on par with other computers of the time with the exception of course of color and sound um, so yeah very very uh, happy with this so uh, I've loaded already the uh, the Pascal package um, into the uh, computer it takes about five minutes to load from tape so we go ahead and run it and we are at the title screen here press new line and uh, we have three options we have uh, an editor we have a compiler and we have a uh, basically a runtime uh, a routine so we're going to go ahead and demonstrate the traditional hello program here just to show you give you a feel basically of how it works uh, using pascal on on the ts1000 so let's go into the editor um, we're going to go ahead and specify SPT because I'd like to be able to print in addition to standard input and output and uh, to also save to tape. Um, at, as far as I know, this does not allow saving and loading with, from anything other than tape, although I suppose it could be hacked. In any case, we're in the editor. This is a full screen editor. Um, you can move around the document with the arrow keys. You can page up and down. Um, and you can insert and delete lines. Um, it's uh, it's not uh, it doesn't have like a search function or anything like that, uh, but it does have auto indentation, which works most of the time. Um, so yeah, I mean it's definitely usable. Uh, the other thing that defines this editor is that um, there are no predefined keywords attached to specific uh, keys on the keyboard, like in Basic, for example. You have to type in letter by letter all the Pascal keywords. Um, uh, depending on your preferences, could be slower or faster. Um, I'll leave it up to you. Um, if you had a better keyboard than the standard My Brain keyboard, you could probably type much faster uh, this way than you would with otherwise uh, poking at the keyboard for keywords. In any case, why don't we go ahead and uh, enter a program here? So let's call the program. Hello. standard input and output alright and we'll begin enter we'll in 
indent and we'll write line hello world so there is no backspace you have to actually uh, move use the left arrow key to move to where you want to correct and then over type So, and another thing here, I wanted to put an exclamation point, but lo and behold, there is no exclamation point, uh, exclamation point um, in the character set of the TS-1000 or ZX-81. It's an odd omission, but here we are, added to the quirks and features, I suppose. All right. And as you can see, it's auto-indented, although I don't want that, so I'm going to back out to the first line, uh, first character and that's it, that's our program end it here now if you try to exit the editor now you will lose the program you have to save it um, to tape so in order to do that um, we can uh, basically press shift s and it's going to ask us for a name let's call it Hello. Pas. And before I press enter, I need to start the recorder. I have a work cassette here, um, and I'm just gonna go ahead and start recording and press enter. And it will go ahead and record um, the source file. That's it. So it doesn't really take much. Um, and uh, if I want to get a listing of uh, this program, um, I have the printer on here. Shift T will do that. All right, and we have a full listing of that short program here. Very useful for debugging, in particular, and for archiving purposes. Alright, now we can exit the editor and we're back at the main screen. So now we want to compile it. So we're going to press 2 for compile. Um, and there it, did. it just compiled it. It's very short so it takes really no time at all to compile. And no error codes. So uh, now it asks for a uh, name for the compiled program. So we're going to call it hello obj for object file. Again here once you compile you have to save it to tape because you won't be able to run it from here you have to go back to the main screen load and then run it again from tape. It's an odd thing but it is what it is. So let's move to a couple of spots on the tape here. There we are. Let's record and here we go. Okay, it's done. So now our program has been compiled. So now if you want to run it, you have to go to the third option. And uh, SNT again, we load the name of the program is Pascal. Oops, not Pascal. It's called hello. Dot o -B -J. So let's rewind to where we did it and let's play. There we are. Now to run it, press SS basically for standard input output and hello world. That's it. Congratulations. You've just done your first Pascal program on the TS-1000. So, in conclusion, um, this is really a pretty usable package um, with uh, the limitations of uh, being a somewhat limited implementation, although um, n for the most part you should be able to uh, program in it without too much difficulty. Um, the other limitation um, is that 
you can only save your programs and load them from physical tape. Um, you cannot do this um, using an em uh, emulated files um, because uh, the package uses uh, a proprietary format. Is this a problem? Well, um, not necessarily. I mean, we're all using vintage equipment here, so if you want to distribute your program on cassette tape, um, actually it becomes a collectible, so <laughs> I don't think this is really a, uh, a uh, major dif uh, limitation. Um, but if you want it to run it, you want to run it uh, on an emulator, the program itself will run, but you will not be able to load uh, or save uh, Pascal programs within the emulator. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration. Thank you for watching.